Hey guys, this is going to be another pick a card reading. So this reading is going to focus on how you can help your person heal, all right? We are gonna see what your person needs to heal and how you can assist your person. If you feel like the reading does not resonate with you and your situation, choose another option, or you may not have um, a message during this time. If you guys would like to book with me, follow me, donate to the channel. All my information is inside of the description. So we have option one, option two, option three, and option four. I'm gonna give you guys just a little bit of time to look over the option, choose your options, timestamps will be inside of the description. All right, so by now you guys should have had enough time. I'm going to begin the reading. Hey guys, so if you guys chose option number one, so what is your person healing from? We got transformation here. So with this transformation here, transformation talks about changes that are going on in your, in your life. All right, transformation talks about changes that you may not want yourself. So this person could be having a spiritual awakening and they're kind of resisting it. So maybe you need to help heal this person in a way where you, if you are on your spiritual journey and you have been on your spiritual journey, then assist them by listening to them, assist them by telling them what you did, um, telling you, telling them how your life ha has went. Um, this person could definitely be going through a spiritual awakening and this is something that they need assistance with. I feel like this person's world is crumbling down. This can be something that they are expressing to you or this can also be something that they're not expressing to you. Also, um, for some of you, you came to this reading for a loved one. I mean a lover, but this can actually be a loved one who is going through this and they feel like they're losing everything. But you could have also been someone who lost a lot and, um, you know, through, through your turmoil, you can help them. You can assist them, okay? So, yeah, create art. So help them by showing them what you've done. You have came up with a master plan to master like, you know, situations that they are going through. Maybe they are going through some type of loss, like they lost someone in their life or they're actually like losing things like items, cars, homes, jobs, um, relationships, and they just feel lost and you have already went through this so this is how you can help your person this is how you can heal your person by just showing them what you did also keep in mind that everybody may not be open to the advice that you want to give but do your best to try to be understanding and just give what you can all right take make the effort by going the extra mile reaching out to them reaching out to them asking them to come out giving them gifts creating memories with them that makes this person feel happy or just giving this person things that make them feel happy doing things with them that you know they may like or also introducing them to a new way of living because this person could definitely be currently just resisting um change like resisting uh whatever it is that you are trying to offer them they could be resisting it like really just like no um and want to stay in this like pity party like they're throwing this whole little pity party and they kind of want to stay down and you know how you have friends that's like i i i really appreciate you reaching out but i'm fine i'm okay i got it this person do not got it Okay, so a lot of you, you need to just reach out to this person and let them know that, hey, girl or guy, I'm here for you. I got you. And just make this person feel loved, especially if they lost um, a relationship. Make this person feel loved and just allow them to 
cry on you if they have to cry i don't feel like they will because i feel like this is somebody who tries to act stronger than they actually are i'm not crying i'm i don't know what that was it was a yarn or a yarn or something i don't know but they try to they're like shut up don't tell them but they try to act stronger than they actually are and um this is where the issue comes in. So I feel like this is definitely somebody that you guys need to reach out to. Um, because they had something happen to them and it's like unexpectedly like happened to them. Like with me on my old page, I talked about what happened to my leg and how it happened, but how I'm on this journey because of what happened to me. And when it first happened, it was heartbreaking. And now I just, feel so empowered because of it so like me if I have somebody who goes through the situation that I went through then I would know how to assist them this is really why we go through the things that we go through not for us to you know throw this whole little pity party it's okay to cry it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel whatever emotion you feel but do not stay there and you guys have dug your way out of it when you were going through your own special spiritual awakening and this is what god is telling you to do this is what spirit is telling you to do assist them because they need you they're going through it and they don't they don't have it in them to reach out to you and say i'm hurting i'm i'm hurting right now i'm going through it i need this i'm I'm losing this and all this other stuff. So if you if you care about this person, reach out to them. Let them know that it is it is okay. Um, some of you could take them to an art show. Maybe this person like like art or something like that. Maybe you guys can, you know, take this person to um, an art show. Some of you can do some type of cleanses around the moon phases as well to kind of help them cleanse out certain energies, certain things that can be weighing this person down. Um, just even if they reject you, just continue to just be there for them because this, this person definitely needs you. So just be a listening, just be an ear for this person. Be an ear for this person um just be there just be there they may just want you to just be there be there in their home you know um go there offer them things um help this person in a way where when you were going through what you went through because i feel like a lot of you went through this or you went through something similar to what they are going through so with that being said just be be what you needed right if you needed people to check on you, but no one checked on you, and that's something that bothered you during that time, then be that for that person. If you needed somebody to come clean up or, you know, buy you flowers or just something, right? Just something to show that, hey, you're not alone. I understand. I've been through what you've been, what you have been through. I got you, girl, or I got you, guy. You're not alone. For a lot of you, this is not a lover. Um, if this is a lover, this person could have lost a close family, a family member. If you guys do do some type of art, do some art um, where it's in memory of their passed away loved one. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys do, you know, artwork, but do something to let them know that you care. So. I'm feeling tired. Wow. Um, that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time. All right. Hey, option number two. So if you guys chose this option, what do your person need healing from? Your person need healing from a friendship. This can be a friendship with you where you guys are healing this friendship and healing Okay, so this can be a situation where you guys are healing this friendship that you guys tried to turn into a relationship where you started kind of dating your friend and 
you guys broke free from them or they could have broke free from you. Um, this can also be somebody finding out about their friends, right? Where they're realizing that they either don't have friends or the friends they had or have just wasn't good friends to them. They aren't good people to be around. Um, helping this person get over like some type of burdens in their life. Okay, this is this is how you can assist your person. This is how you can help your person. Um, All right, so with this read and chemistry being here, for some of you, this person could have went through a spiritual awakening, right? And you know how a lot of us mention that we feel alone. We don't have friends. We don't trust people. Um, you can actually do research on what this person is into. So if you have somebody who has recently changed where they're going through some type of change or they're going through something or they're studying something read on it learn about it before you judge them because this person is feeling like they don't have friends they're feeling alone and with this power being here this person is is feeling like they're alone like they got to do all this stuff by their by themselves it's me against the world it's me by myself so Wow, this is crazy. How tired I get, like crazy. Um, some of you can be getting tired, like you're you're tired of trying to figure out, you know, what to do to help this person. You, your person, can actually be tired of like you know people just not understanding them. I know for me, like. I got really upset at my friends because I'm just like, you guys don't understand what I'm doing and how important this is to me. And you guys call me weird and you don't even know what you're talking about because nobody took time to really do research and, you know, things like that. But this is when I first had my spiritual awakening and I just felt so alone. I, I just felt like, I'm the only person in the world, you know, until I started my YouTube and it's a lot of us, you know, but we live all over the place. So, yeah. So this person just feel alone. They feel like they don't have friends. If you want to help this person heal, learn about what they are doing. If they are into anything, if you really want this person as your friend, show them that, hey, we got a lot in common. I've, I've, I'm trying I can't tell you that this is going to be my new hobby, but I am definitely trying because I this this connection, this relationship with you, this friendship with you is very important to me. So I'm trying and and allow this person to to show you what it, what it is that they have been doing. Allow them the opportunity to introduce you to things that you may not be into. This will make this person feel like they have real friends because this person feels like they don't. And they feel like they got to do something by themselves. But if you start to get into their hobbies and start to, you know, really take the time to understand what it is that your friend is doing, even if this is just gardening, like learning sports something if you show them that you have an interest in what they are doing this will be a way that you can heal them okay you cannot take anybody's burdens on so i don't know exactly what this person could be going through exactly what it is but if you just show this person that hey you're not alone i understand it's me it's you it's me it's me, it's me, Olar, standing in the need of prayer. So this person could be praying to God for new friends or something like that. And 
you love them, but you just, you don't understand. Like you just don't understand what they're doing. Ooh. Jeez. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> but you don't understand what this person is doing. So at this point, every time I'm recording, it just get like this. So I'm just like, I can't keep apologizing. I don't know what the hell. But um, yeah, just show this person that you you get them. I understand you. I understand what you where where you coming from. I understand what you're trying to do. Like even if you don't understand, just taking that time. All right, they taking a culinary class. Take one with them. You know, just be a part of whatever they're doing, and that's how you can help your person heal. Okay, so that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. It. Until next time. Hey, option three. So if you guys chose this option, which is option number three, how can you help your person heal? And what are they going through? What do they need healing from? So your person has completely locked themselves in their man cave or their room, their house or something like that. This person feels like whatever they are going through, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. For some of them, they feel embarrassed. For some of them, they just feel very foolish, almost stupid, right? And they just don't want to talk about whatever this is that this person is going through. For some of them, they're saying like, I knew better, but why? Why did I do such a foolish thing? They feel like they've done such a foolish thing. It could be something that has to do with you or it may not, but it can be something that has to do was something in their life, right? They're just feeling like very foolish. They could have loved someone that did not love them back or they gave themselves to a company and some of them hurt themselves. Now that I said that about the company, some of them could have hurt themselves and their company is trying to um, replace them. You know, this can be a basketball player, football player, and their company is trying to replace them because they, they injured themselves. And they're feeling like whatever job they do, they're losing it. Why did I make this foolish move? Why did I do this is what this person is saying. So how can you heal them? How can you help them with this? So you can make a meal for this person. You can go and offer them meals. You can cook them new things. Oh, wow, yeah. Some of them injured themselves. Some of them could have really injured, injured themselves where it's like they need something to restore the body. So if a lot of you are into herbs or natural healing, um, you can make this person meals. You can make this person meals. You can also do rituals with them to cut out certain things. But yeah, make them meals. And, and tell them to cut out certain foods right also take this person outside get this person to go out for the ones who just got a divorce or lost some type of lover or something get this person out where they're out um interacting with other people get this person out of the house all right introduce this person to new people good people all right people that you know is ready for a commitment because this person's heart has been broken um if they have been talking about, you know, their husband, their wife that left them or something like that, reach out to them if if that is something that you feel like will benefit your friend, your family member or something like that. Reach out to this person and, you know, suggest some type of counseling or something like that. For the ones who have been like broken up from their person, 
they do want to reconcile with that person. They do want to be with this person because this person is very important to them. So if you are in the position where you are a friend of the both of them, encourage your other person to work it out one more time or try or see what you could do in that area. If there is nothing that can be done, then let it go. If this is you who left your person and your person is feeling sad, then go hear your person out. That is how you can heal this person. This person is just feeling down right now because of something that they're going through, but it won't last for long. Especially if you can, you know, assist them now, okay? So that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time. Hey, option number four. So if you guys chose this heart, which is option number four. How can you help your person heal? What is they? What are they healing from? So a bond. So this can be a brother for some of you. This can be a brother who has just recently been divorced or this person could be going through a situation where they might have to snitch on somebody for them to stay out of jail or something like that um they're in a how you can help this person i haven't got to the cards but for some of you this person is in a situation where they could have done something with their friends and there could possibly be jail time for them this could be a brother or sister and this person is needing help out of that situation for some of you this could be a lover or somebody and they're in some type of commitment with somebody that they don't want to be there all right i don't know but that's just the vibe that i'm getting like they don't want to be there so they could literally be with somebody be in a marriage or like something like that some type of friendship and they don't want it So some of you, you guys can be in a third party situation where this person is in a commitment, right? But you know, they don't want to be there. Be, if you, hey, do what you want to do, do what you will, but you could give this person a massage. If you do any type of Reiki, give this person um, a session or to give this person a few sessions um, to kind of get some of whatever they're going through out, um, cleanse their their energy, cleanse their, their chakra fields, their aura and stuff. Um, also make a vision board, including happiness for this person. Also pray for this person. You can make um, a prayer box and just put notes in there, like prayers, like, things that you people and things that you want to pray for just do that or you could do it this way where you just make a vision board add them to the vision board um and constantly visualize this person being healed and receiving a lot of love and a lot of light and just send that their way contact your spirit guides for for on the behalf of this person and continue to pray for them this person really needs a lot of healing. So really continue to pray for them. Pray that they get out of their situation. Just, you can, I don't know what you guys believe in. I believe in God, my God, because you know, it's a lot of gods and everybody else got all type of gods, but simply just say, you know, God, can you assist so-and-so what they're going through? All right, can you lead them down your, your way? You know, you take the will, you do what you will with this with with this person. Lead them down the right road and things like that. Like just say whatever you want. But have your spirit guide step in on your behalf because whatever this person is going through, they're in there for some of them they're bonded to something or someone. And this can be through spell work. Um black magic karma um hex all that stuff um and this person is bonded to something or someone and they don't want to be there right 
this is unwanted energy this is an unwanted situation and this is what your person is needing help from all right this could be someone that they have children with this could be someone who kind of forced a kid on them this can be anything but how you can help your person is by simply praying for them okay all you got to do is pray for them and be around them if you are um doing any type of healing work do it on this person right but you can only do so much so you have to ask your spirit guides to step in ask your angels to protect you as you help this person and just send them all that love and that light and healing energy and do a few sessions with them they could be having body aches for some of them it could be their back their neck their arm anything but just assist this person by that way where you're just sending this person energy right so yeah that's how you can heal this person pray for them and make make a vision board where you put them on it or you make them a separate one or you tell them to make a vision board i don't feel like this person is into things like that because Whoever this person is, if somebody threw something on them, they're stuck because they don't really know how, how to get out of it. They don't really know what to do, but you do. So do what you do and get this person out of that stuck situation, okay? So that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.